We just partnered with Delta on their exciting announcement, and we're really excited to do that, to be the sponsor that brings Wi-Fi to not just T-Mobile customers, but every customer that's a SkyMile member. Well, we're here at our booth, and we've got a lot of exciting things on display. First is our retail enablement platform, and for that we have the Caper Cart. The Caper Cart enables customers or Instacart shoppers to check out as they shop, so you can simply grab an item off the shelf and drop it directly into the cart, and your cart is on file. You can just shop, walk out of the store, and be done without having to wait in line. On the ad side, we are showcasing our objective-based buying. We've got a really fun vending machine over here that lets folks explore the different objectives that our advertisers can buy against. So actually, we announced Yahoo today. Um, Box was yesterday. We have so many really exciting partnerships with companies that are actually doing interesting things, who have committed to doing real work to reduce their footprint. The people I don't want to work with are the folks who are not going to change what they do. So if you work with us, you better be prepared for some hard questions. It's been smashing. It's been great. The turnout so far has been very exciting. Uh, we had our kickoff last night and it was the largest crowd we've ever had and we've been doing this for quite some time. I'm so excited to be here. The energy this year is amazing. It's been incredibly busy. Like just running back and forth from the Cosmo to the Aria area. I don't know how you say it. But yeah, CES has just been like immediate re-entry into the world from a very relaxing couple of weeks. So intense, so much energy. The exciting announcement that Delta made around free Wi-Fi for all air flights got a, a gigantic applause from the, from the audience. A core principle of what the consumer electronics experience is around is around connectivity. And as Ed said, we're now connecting the sky and it, it, I think it's limitless. So one thing that I was pretty delighted by here at CES as, as a player in the food space is I heard that Samsung is launching a, an oven that lets people live stream what they're baking. And when I think about the convergence of commerce and content and the blurring of the lines uh, between those two areas, I, I think there's something interesting about being able to capture those moments that are so kind of sensorially inspiring, that kind of bubbling cheese. You can think about that being something that would literally whet your appetite to, to make a recipe that a creator or influencer might be making. I'm excited to see how we can take all these new innovations and pair them with our ability to turn inspiration into action as quickly as possible. The word on the street for me as far as what people want to know is where is the future of content going and where are eyeballs going to go and how are we going to create those great enduring relationships with our customers in a genuine way. Talking about content and commerce and the kind of merging and blurring of those two areas has been a key theme in a lot of the conversations I've been having. And when you look at you know, recent moves where you have, for example, content platforms like TikTok getting into commerce, and then you have commerce platforms doing content and streaming, you start to see that um, there's, there's fewer boundaries and rules about what a company should or can do. And so I think a lot of the whisperings are, where does this go, what's next? Salesforce announcing layoffs yesterday. The little undercurrent of like, what, what, what's the next shooter drop? You know, but no one talks about it directly. Everyone's just like, ugh. You know, like that guy has a Salesforce backpack. Oh, everyone's dying to know who's going to be speaker of the house. 